Hello, hello. Welcome, Mellow Boarders, to another session of Mellow School. Today, we're covering emergency braking. Because as we all know, the Mellow Board has braking. You just slide back the brake, and it stops. It's a fact that makes electric skateboarding amazing, is you have access to brakes now. But these brakes are not friction brakes. It's what we call dynamic braking. It's also regenerative braking, which sends power back into your battery. But there are certain limits to this braking. One of the main points where you're going to reach a limit for this braking is when you're going super fast, basically maxing out pro, and with a little bit of a help of a hill or a, a big hill, you're going to be rolling past 40k, 45, even reaching 50 kilometers an hour. Once you're past 40k, your brakes are extremely reduced. And once you hit about 49k, you no longer have brakes. So you need to know how to emergency brake. It's not the only scenario that will leave you with no brakes. You can also forget to charge your remote. If your remote is out of power, you have no brakes available. If your battery goes dead, your brakes will no longer be available. There's always a certain point that even when you're on your last drops of juice in your battery, you'll still have braking and you'll be able to access some regeneration and it'll keep you going. But if your battery is dead dead, there is no brakes coming to you. And there's also the fact of if you're in a very extreme braking condition of braking down a super long hill, you've been holding the brakes for like a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes, depending on the steepness, the speed, your weight, eventually the amount of regenerative energy sent into the, in the batteries is going to be too much for the Mellow to handle. So you need to have plan A, B, C, and D to get you stopped, keep you alive, and keep you rolling. So here's your scenario. Brakes go out. Option A, probably the safest and easiest one. Probably the one you can do when you're not going at extreme fast speeds. But it also helps to always control your speed in general. It's what we call leaning into your turns. So you're gonna be swinging these big wide turns and really getting low and leaning into that turn and creating friction on the pavement. So you're really pushing out that board. You're not exactly skidding, but you're on the cusp of skidding and you're pushing into that one turn and hooking to your backside turn and pushing into that turn as well. And it'll eventually, maybe not completely stop you, but at least control your speed down to a safe condition to let you basically run off your board at the very end. All right, plan B is a very effective one. It's what we call foot braking. It can be performed at quite high speeds. You just want to make sure you're going straight. You want to Put your feet in the same position as if you were pushed on your board, placing all your weight on your front board while you also reposition it quite parallel to the board. And you're going to put your back foot at about the level of the front wheel and apply flat pressure on your entire foot, keeping the weight off your toe extremity to make sure it doesn't hook. And slowly apply pressure to it completely stops the board and then just run off that extra speed you might have off the front of your board. Plan C emergency braking is what we call a power slide or a skid. What you want to do here is apply those carbs from plan A to start to reduce your speed and then pick that final turn where you're going to skid out. You're going to get your weight on the inside of the board. Really throw your weight with your arms as you shift your weight to your front foot over your front truck, allowing that back tail to start to slide out and really punch it out with your back foot, keeping your weight on the inside to avoid having the G-forces pull you out of that skid and really just kind of punch it out. Just trust your skid, follow it through, and you'll eventually fully stop. But this is, again, this is for very advanced riders. So take your time with this, just, just like this. Plan D is for all you ninjas out there. You don't have A, B, C available. You can't skid, you can't carve out, you can't foot brake. There's no time to. Basically, you have to find the best place to crash. So you want to aim your board for a grassy patch if possible. And once you hit that curb or that field that's going to stop you rolling, you want to drop that front shoulder, tuck your head in, roll it out, put your arms in, and tumble into safety. All right, there you go. Those are your options for emergency braking A, B, C, and D. Get out there and practice them to make sure you are ready if you ever have a true emergency scenario to need to use one of these. But for the most part, 99% of the time, that brake on your Mellow is going to work fine. Make sure you keep your remote charged. Don't ride your batteries down hills when they're fully empty. And uh, for the most part, you should not have to worry about it. So just use that brake. You can rely on it. It is a solid brake. 
And for the end of our episode, we are doing our giveaways. This Mellow School Sessions, we are giving away some of the new Mellow shirts right here with the Endless Rider. You can win yourself one of these t-shirts. If you get out there on your social media, show us some pictures of your mount, your, some of your riding, some skids, some moves you're doing with your board. And our favorite post at the end of the month of August will be notified and receive a sweet new Mellow t-shirt. So keep riding, stay mellow, and stay tuned for the next Mellow School. See you next time.